Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. Today, we will learn how to find the optimal robot placement during collision-free path planning. Let's explore this concept with a practical example. We have three targets here, and we will create a collision-free path between them. Select all the targets, then right-click. From the context menu, we will select Create Collision-Free Path. Under the Collision Free Path window, we can see the option to find optimal robot placement. Now the user has the possibility to place the robot at the optimal position, which will result in the shortest path for the given sequence of targets. Check the box, and a search button will appear beneath it. We can also see a zone set in the 3D graphics window at the base of the robot. This is called the search area, which can be modified using the optimized placement window on the right. The search area, defined by the X, Y, and Z axis values, determines the area to search for the optimal robot placement. We can easily change the minimum and maximum values on the axis, which will define our search area. We can also define the distance between search positions. The default value is 200 mm, and we can always modify it according to our preferences. After defining the search area and distance between search positions, we can click on Search button under the Collision Free Path window. This would give us all the positions where our robot can be placed so that we could get the shortest collision free path for the given sequence of targets. The results can be seen in the Optimize Placement window. We can see that we have found the best placement for our robot. We can see the position marked in green in the 3D graphics, and the ghost robot can be visualized at that position. Click all to display all the valid results for our robot placement in the 3D graphics window. Notice that some positions are marked in a dark shade of green, while others are lighter. As we can see in the legend, the positions marked in light green result in a less than or equal to 10% increase in the path length compared to the best position. Whereas the positions marked in dark green color results in greater than 10% increase in the path length compared to the best position. We can easily select any position in the grid, and our ghost robot will be visualized in the station at that position. For further exploration, you may visualize all the invalid positions by selecting the checkbox Show Invalid Positions. If the robot is placed at these positions, then our targets will not be reachable by the robot. We will select the best position for our robot placement and click on Create under the Collision Free Path window. We will click on Yes to move the task frame and also keep the positioning of the stationary objects as it is in the station. We can see that our robot has been placed at the selected best position and the collision-free path has been successfully created. We can simulate the path. This is how you can find optimal robot placement for creating a collision-free path. Remember that, whether it's the floor, wall, ceiling, or any arbitrary mounting position, you will be able to find an optimal placement for your robot to create a collision-free path. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.